So it could just be about these gambles. Maybe we'll see a couple new tactics. A little skin scene from a distance. Mini Peak gets punished by Hunter. And that's going to serve as a trigger for him to just move this forward fast. Rops catches Hooksy. That goes down on ramp, but it's really this point of contest here. And Kerrigan, he's going to use that chance to slide out. Starts shooting Hunter in the back, but guess what? Monacy's also up there. And so we're right back to the 3v3 with Twist trying to get into the action. Monacy's dropped his teammate, and now we've got FaZe stranded inside this A site. It's all on Brokey. He taps away the Heaven play. A second chance that comes for free. And one headshot versus Nico's all he needs. And he spams away to nail it. A 1v3 from Brokey to kick off this map. Wow, Nico had the time and Twist swung at a mini. Rain sees shadows. Ominous. Monacy tries to bait him around the corner and it works out. Ooh. Hunter catches a second. So again, measly pistols. Still getting some economic damage in and an upgrade to the MP9. Looks nice on Hunter. 19 it's over, HP right? and a hell of a dream as he picks up that frag on Rops. Now we go gun back out, 19 health, no armor, 1v3, queued up. And he's kind of lost track of Kroki. Oh. So sure enough, as you'd expect, the better rifle, the more health, and the Kevlar player comes through. It's a clutch. Rain. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's a rain drop. Nico smashed behind Mini. It's still a welcome invitation for the bomb and its cohort to move along outdoors. Rops catches JKS head turned. So all they've got to work with is this secret play. Rain, passive, sits back, allows for them to walk forward here. It could be another clean one, and sure enough, it is. Ooh, immense amounts of damage coming out of Rain. But Hunter's got the response. That was a great punish. Rain decided if they were going to play a little passive, then he's going to get a better spot in the stairs. Ooh, Smoke give grenade will give him a chance. Rops drops off. I think they heard him. Yeah, they should. Gap in the smoke. Time's starting to run out, so even though Rops hasn't killed him yet, feels like he's just playing with his food. And now Monacy pressure from both ends. Time against him. Oh, no. Oh, after time, Monacy dies. 900 bucks is all he's got. And that's four alive on a round or a phase where it had low utility. We get the utility through the rooftops. Pressure on the A site. Probably trying to hope and keep Rain oh. engaged in that A play rather than being outdoors, oh. but it's not just the one kill from Nico. No, double already. Damage versus Rops, and it goes both ways, but Hooksy picks up that slack, and it's five up from G2. Only two players left for FaZe. It turns Brokey around. We have the situation where they're still scaling on all parts of the map right now. Look at the tease. Kerrigan, the only player to get something going. We've got G2 on the board. A great round. You've got to love how tricky that is. That comes down to the smallest timing. This range position is great for catching any kind of mini drop. And, oh, Doesn't Nico wins that. A couple rounds back to back here. Nico gets away with little bits of HP. But Kerrigan gets active inside of the lobby. It's that. Dangerous game. It's too quiet downstairs. Where's the contact? Right there. Yeah, Bonk walking into the scope of Brokey. Again, look for, you know, this other play. Hunter. It's not one dimensional for now. Oh, but Rob's so aware. Why is he watching the back of Heaven in this position? But to make FaZe think for sure. They can easily rotate downstairs. They have time, not worry about it, but. There has to be an activation somewhere, somehow. Utility pressure out into Mini. Nico oh. catches Brokey a little too scoped in, but they're still coming at this A site. And Twist, well, he strikes from above, and that smoke on Squeaky slows everything down, but the wraparound from Hunter, stopped by Rops last time, successful in his endeavor. Dude. Comes through, chops off two. But it's dressed up so differently, you think no way that this is happening. One more time, here he is, making another appearance inside of Heaven and causing terror. If it had to be just Squeaky and and uh, Hot at the same time, well, they had Squeaky smoke 15 seconds left. That would have been a much more difficult round. It's going to be a fast one. We've seen this play a lot this event. Oh. That's the, at least the third time that Monacy picks up that opening kill. I think it is three on the dot. So consistent with oh. oh, another one to the leg. Takes some damage back, but it'll be Rain who's, or Kerrigan who's shaking. The Ooh, resistance increased, and there's a chance to reroute to direct themselves to the Ooh. A site where Hooksy opens up shop. Remember, Kerrigan, 16 HP. Whoa. Stops the front runner, but Hunter's not alone here. He's got that extra few seconds to reposition Bomb, and G2 squeeze an excellent situation out of what looked like 
Honestly, that was almost worrying. I feel like that would have you thinking like, is there a lot of clarity in the calling right now? You know, seeing a different philosophy and approach to the game here versus facing the rematch. And it's actually been working out quite well, but they're riding a very fine margin. Unstable year. Yes. And regarding results, and you talked about the faster expectation. Well, Nico wasted no time trying to get over top of the silo. Hoping that maybe Rain had tucked in and played passive, but now it's just gonna get cranked over towards oh, the ramp. Whoopsie. Nice entry. Loses 90 HP, but still picks it up with that AK swing from Brokey. Door closed. Yeah, that's so he just plucks the little that was left off of the play. Rain comes out with a second kill to his name. And now it's gonna have to be the Monacy JKS comeback within round 12, or we're tied yet again. Kerrigan, fire on his feet. Oh, see that Molly. And Kerrigan oh. pushes ahead of it. Rips Monacy's head clean off, and Brokey's got a second of his own. Phase answer fast. And they both work in multiple ways. Brokey backs it up. Rain has died towards Garage, but with the fire on the feet of Brokey... Oh, that's big, though. I mean, ...needs to give up the angle. Yeah, listen, Nico now has control of Secret, right? They're scared of it. Oh, Rop's actually... Dangerous game. Trying to make a move. While scoped in this whole time. I mean, talk about playing with blinders on, but he'll catch Nico back turned. Kerrigan trying to press outwards. We've got 20 seconds left, and he gets ahead of the flashbang. It's going to be a quick little pop out towards that vent, and wow, two what? players do get down. Rops clips one, but we've got a very hot firing hunter into the clutch, and poor guy just wants that bomb plant, loses his face to the pistol of Rops. It's a 3K from Rops off the op. Yeah, no Before kidding. they can even pop out Squeaky. He's got skates on these days. This one's looking fast though. JKS already out. Kerrigan completely blind. Fire on his feet. And we've got the entry out from JKS. Kerrigan doesn't... Oh, wait, no, he died. In the corner, Rain picked up both those kills. Oh, and Brokey! Is that a op drive-by? Monacy just gets smashed. And now Nico also chopped down by that op. The skyward cover from Brokey. Mm, there's exact. We haven't seen that from them. I think since the pistol, no, the pistol was even a little bit slower. What Last a hold. bullet from Rain. Yeah, wow. <laughs> what a wild run from Brokey. I don't know if there's more fire on his feet or more fire on his fingertips. As he slams the AWP into the hut play, Twist's gonna open up 5v4 in an instant. As we're starting to close out this first half on Nuke G2, it was a success story. But now it's a measly couple of pistols between them and the end of this half. A three-round lead looks likely, but Modesty's gonna fight tooth and nail. Nice clean D. Yeah. Serves up a distraction and further damage, not to mention, now he's got his paws on an op. Yeah, his favorite weapon. That's a shiver down the spine of FaZe Clan. Modesty doubles back. You do not want him on this AWP, and now that he's got one, he's gonna get his second kill in the round by clamping onto Kerrigan. JKS, smoke comes out, twists, plays it passive, fire on his feet. They're piecing this together. They've managed to make this even. Rain, M4 response, and it's a Monacy clutch attempt with Bomb on his back. He runs downstairs. Now there's a ton of grenades for the CTs, and they hit him on the cross. Oh. Brokey with the dig out to give FaZe a three round lead and a chance at this T side to give us an offense here. Looking to get revenge versus G2 here on Nuke. And already trying to press an advantage down into the ramp. But Hooksy has other ideas. Nico swings out the door. He's gonna get a long range USP fight, loses his head. Rops and Rain combining for kills. Hunter takes his time, Rops doubles up. And now all of a sudden, it's advantage taken back. Hooksy oh. and Monacy get their kills at a distance. And Brokey's looking for back-to-back -back pistol clutches, but this time it's only seven health. How little can he really do this with? He's got a minute to mastermind a situation. Needs that bomb back. And also needs the CTs to make some kind of a mistake. One stray bullet connects to any part of his body, and the head's the best. Monacy shuts it down. G2 answer quick. That's right. But as Monacy shuffles position, it maybe opens the likelihood that Nico peeks over. And as he does, look at this! Freebies! A little Thomas Mowdown for a triple kill. Makes the conversion look real easy. There's a pretty decent investment coming in. We didn't see a bomb plant last round, but still. And no shot here, so... 8 for G2, looking to tie up once again. Which I'm not mm -hmm. going to do this time. Well, maybe we should. 
Drops nearly. Oh, there it is. Second servings. Yeah, twist with the opener as well. Kind of a cheesy kill, but on both sides of it, right? If one of those two things happens, it's maybe not so bad, but 3v5. Ooh, 3v5 plus Monacy gets dropped. So Robs is powering up here on Nuke. Hunter's gonna get a chance to try and claw this back. It's the Kovach already trying to equalize God, things, damn. but three stand tall from FaZe. Twist starting to activate. Gotta call it out. Quiet first half. Yes. You know, this is, this is not bad in terms of what they were able to afford. Oh, a huge disruption of the smoke. Nice. That's gonna be from it. Maybe two, maybe three. All day. But Twist actually off the top of red. We're getting a little push here. Monacy connects into Rops. You've taken down FaZe's most successful player. And you've left this one on Brokey and Twists, but Monacy easily queues up another. Twists delivers himself to the crosshair of the op, and now Brokey with a measly 6 HP and four opponents to take. Catches Monacy in the open, but so be it. You're blind, you're surrounded, outnumbered, and soon to be a dead man. This is G2 to tie things up because Nico disrupts the cross outside. So Rain will have a bit more room to wiggle. And as he tries to press in through Mini, Ooh. it's Hooksy with the instant execution. They've got so many things covered right now. Kerrigan's still inside of the hut. Brokey's Deagle's pressing out. Hunter, oh, it's clean. Twist's head take it off. Kerrigan, well, he has slipped beyond G2, so maybe he can catch somebody off, but Hunter seems alert. Incredibly sharp at the moment. Yeah. Of course, that smoke connecting these two pushes. That's a third. Yeah, well. And an 11th to G2's camp. Well done there. I think Hooksy again, another key moment, right? Honestly, real quick with it. Oh, Rain! Oh, he what? gets a little space. Flies over top of Mini, but... Spinal tap at Amonasi means he can go no further. They're going to try to transition into the ramp push. JK, yes! Delivers a triple! One, two, three! No chance at pushing past him. JKS has been moving mountains in some of these games. 17 and 14 now. And this one's for 13 on map one. Kerrigan. Timing. Yeah, that's it. First kill, but no bomb secured. Kerrigan not expecting the next one on the left, so sure oh, enough, man. it's a 4K from JKS. One singular terrorist round win from FaZe. No additional what? bomb plants, but Kerrigan swoops in from Mini, and Hunter strikes them down from the top of that hut. Now we've got guns for FaZe, and JKS nearly slain already, commits and cannot kill. It is FaZe to chop it back at least by one. What on earth? Eco in between the buys. They were on such a good streak. And look at this kill from what? Kerrigan. Two rounds in a row, Nico dies like this. Nice double out of rain as well. That snap up. Nico's going to have to hit the showers if he makes a round of this. Kerrigan's coming, but yeah, they're, they're listening. He's going to hear that. Oh. So, oh, what a shot. There's Ow. no way. He, he's just not ready for it, obviously, because who is? No one's ever played there before. Wait, Hooksy, two players pass, but he gets bottled by Brokey. Pistol can't maintain that bomb sight. But Hooksy could still be problematic. Twist toys with him, cuts him down to a quarter health. Hunter will find one off of just that sidearm. And that's a weapon picked up. But guess what? Kerrigan's going to find a back turned. Or is he? Hooksy looks his direction, but they can't stop the bomb from going down. And despite Hunter's best efforts to get better weapons, it is in fact a tied game, 13 all. We do have an exchange of weapons here. Watch this. And they must drop. <laughs> that's just ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. And it feels like Brokey yesterday wouldn't hit that shot. You know, he's been pretty good, mm -hmm. but not that good. But this is Brokey, Fall Finals Brokey, rest of the year Brokey. Back to top, top tier form. Brokey. Oh, I love it. Oh, Nico. Rain. Man, he is just getting bullied right now he's in this position in yard. Powering up with Monacy. He's going to get the better of his counterpart. And Ooh. second against Kerrigan. Needed to reclaim space outside. Two shots, two kills. Man advantage, G2 off the back of it. But... Robs awaits something. But from when and where... Hooksy just gets around. That's wild! And then he gets caught on the ladder! 
but there's still a chance because Twist closes the distance and Rain cover from above. And then he sees the man towards Mini but can't stop it. His own Time volley. for the magic. A singular 1v1, but against one of the best in the clutch. Oh my god. Monacy doubles it back, oh! and it's a headshot from Ben Dalkin. 14 for FaZe. Lead to the T side. That's Monacy calling out his rotation out, but twist. No matter what angle, they're dropping down from above, running out to the side. Holding their gun sideways. Rain just swinging with the bat, but what about pistols? The prowess oh no, the of the bomb. pistols. They're coming down. They drop down ladder. How does he manage a kill like that? AK from Hooks, he recovers. And G2 out of nowhere. Oh, they've got a little bit on a low buy too. Pop, pop with the pistols. And we've got another tied game. It felt like all the X Factor was in face. <laughs> That's so sick. Wow. He's on the precipice. Twists with him. And it's a missed shot. He doesn't oh. get away. Oh, to the back of the head. Monas, he's out. And with another smoke ahead of it. Hooksy's drawn to the flame. And now he's dead as well. Rain's coming out with a big bit of impact. And they've lost track of Hunter. But what if he comes swooping upwards? Oh, A-Sight was vacant. One walks by. What if he finds him with backs turned? He's being careful about this, but you know what he wants. He wants an angle and a timing and has at least gotten the first. Molly ahead of him, sees the gun, executes Twist first and foremost, tries to wrap it back around the hut, but the heaven support, that could be the bigger difference maker. Rock's no way. dead. Hunter continues to thrive until Brokey puts him down, and it's time for the ice cold JKS to try and come through. This isn't ramp, this isn't his wheelhouse, but it's still a chance to shine. And Brokey doesn't know where he's at. A peek out with the A4, sees him up in heaven, no and he nails it! He nails it! He beats his chest! The Savage comes through! <laughs> the clutch for Matt Point! What just happened there? Even a bad jump. As the first spray comes out, and we've got Stops. a puff. Resets it. Oh, Rain could have just continued with the spray. Don't give him an inch. Now it's half by FaZe Clan. And FaZe, desperate to try and extend play. It's a closer affair, but it's a ton of damage. They're gonna try to test them again. What a mistake! Another triple! And G2, two kills away. The nade nearly blows away Brokey. All he wants is a bomb plant to try and set up ROPS. But will he even get that? G2 want revenge. And Hooksy kills Rops. Down he goes! It's G2 to strike first in the semi-final as they will be a map away from taking on Liquid at the end. 16-14, Nuke. Man, where the hell are they, FaZe? Yeah. <laughs> Worried, but you know that at some point you're gonna round a corner and the gunshots are gonna start. Twist picks up the first blood. Hunter, nice trade back, doubles it. A little glance towards Pitts and a duel that doesn't go his way, but at least he's still alive. We've got the bomb down inside sight. Yeah, he's also got this bought up, bought up in apps that's gonna just be so annoying for your big pit player, but now they get him. And Brokey just caught Monacy turning his head. So the dual Berettas hit the ground, and Nico starting to try and combine with Hooksy here. It's a two versus four with a kill already queued up. And Kerrigan currently stuck behind that pillar. Hooksy closes the gap, sprinting into the site. Point blank, Glock prevails, and Nico will not find success. So it is FaZe to get that pistol win. And honestly, they squeeze their way, step by step. If all of a sudden there's a stall here, things can get sketchy. And with that smoke, that's exactly what they were looking for. Something to hold FaZe at bay. Kerrigan. Oh, they didn't clear cold. Nope. JKS catches him, and then Monacy in the back pocket, a triple! JKS again! That Fomus worth its weight in gold. Twist is gonna have to recover with a 1v5. And while the rifle goes down, he still doesn't even have that bomb. Monacy's a second target, nice and easy. Twist's working. And all of a sudden, G2 cannot assume this one's in the bag. It's the little pit player that ends it. Wow. Hunter with an execution, but a triple kill from JKS is big. Every single round, he's blown away by what they can do. 
And in this spot, Kerrigan goes wide around a box where DKS is completely blind and could have been taken out. And then he gets distracted by someone back sight. And then it's just way too easy for JKS. And again, it was Nico who made presence, looked down banana, found a way to get in there with nothing to work with, just one smoke in his hand. Excellent flash. They can't see Jack. And then Kerrigan's actually ends up affecting Rain. 35 bullets, not enough for four kills. They gotta buff the glue, man. <laughs> yeah, give it a 50 bullet mag. <laughs> yeah, but that was it, right? Uh, the fact... Ooh. Oh. The fact of the... Okay. The fact of the matter is, people have to spend so much money to get banana control. They knew they could actually just pull goalie for this long because of how clearly FaZe were taking bracket. Ooh, rain. Nice patience, but that's going to magnetize the T's, and there's more bodies here from the defense. Monacy clips Rops on the edge of the boiler, but at least FaZe have been able to find a way to even things out 3v3. Rain sticks around again. Ooh, but he jumps! He thought for a second he could catch another player, and it was almost there, but Monacy just gives himself an extra second. Nico going to hear the audio on that cross, but it is still phased to get deep into the site. I mean, Kerrigan's running this every step of the way, so Nico on high alert, yeah, prepared for this peak. Oh, Ooh. Kerrigan! Nice headshot off that AK. Him and Brokey, 2v2 now. Phase lean back into the shadows, into the darkness of the bomb site. Brokey awaits that first peak. Kerrigan could then try and come through with a clutch, and Brokey's going to go ahead and do it on his own. There's the trade back from JKS. He goes for the kill, but it's a double out of Kerrigan. Nice, clean headshots versus Nico and JKS. That A4 set up, nice flash. The timing's excellent. The lineup's right there. Wow. Oh, Rops, able to recover it, but still, right? You're just trying to get that one M4 into a position to shine, and it works wonderfully. Rops does get down, though. Could be unknown to G2. Reinforcements, but look, Rops actually just left the apartment what? with no bomb! And a bomb shell from Hunter! Double kill CZ, they just took all the wind out of FaZe's sails. When are we gonna stop saying this guy's name? Oh! Well, for better or worse. Sit down. <laughs> you don't wanna make Roki mad. Kerrigan inspired, there's a nice dink, but it actually only does 13 damage. Monacy kind of getting away with that one. Brokey comes out, a second Deagle headshot connects. And look what's next, FaZe just eject. Yeah. Oh, FaZe getting fancy. Oh, Ooh, twist! One. Just sitting and waiting and strikes down Hunter. But if they're under the assumption that players from G2 would have already gone over towards B, it's not entirely the case. The flash is in the pocket. They come flying forward on him. Oh, he drops that bomb on Twist and almost gives up another, but Brokey gets himself a third Deagle headshot in round eight. Every single kill has been with a Deagle. Twist plus Brokey. But he's knocking on the door. Getting dangerously close. Frag goes out, no kit, and he gets blindsided by Brokey. Huge moment for Brokey. Wow. Triple Deagle kills and a closer to tie us up at four. Patience pays off for Twist. Yeah, seriously. That adjustment. It had to be on the first try. JKS, lethal uh -oh. in this position with this pistol. Hold on. And Monacy's got that AWP. All of a sudden, they get kind of stalled out by that off. Yeah, and JKS off. kills Brokey oh. and Kerrigan. 5-7 oh. from Balcony in the hands of JKS is nearly as good as any other gun. His 10th kill already queued up, but they don't know if there's more. Obviously, seeing Bomb on short indicates the play, the intention. And now, of course, more presence, but Rops will try to save the day alongside Twists. Nico's back in sight, pops up, no. and gets taken down. <laughs> Little bits of HP, all that's left. So now Hooksy could get a chance. He's got one kill so far on Inferno, and he's going to look to come at this. And can he catch somebody not looking? Can he fly down into the cover once he makes his contact? Oh no, not today. Oh. Rops, instant headshot in between him and Twist, the full house. I can't believe that, man. Each one of those critical again, and Rops right here, honestly, did a play need to be made was the question. Right, JKS already got his two. They were overstacked on the correct site. The time is coming down, and you still expect to win. No doubt. You still think you have outs.
But that's another situation where G2 push. Toxie making his way over. Yeah, just and they just again. they just heard that, I think, and they're just trying to avoid the yep. play now. All the way deep. Ooh, didn't fully Wait, they're clear coming it. back. And if they think that's the only player, then they are incredibly wrong. Hooksy's gonna throw the flash out. Twist actually kills him. They know he, he know, they know he's pinned in here, but can they? Yes, they will wow. deal with him. Twists takes it into his own hands, gets two kills critically in that bomb site because when they started to double back towards B. Can't let those close moments go. What is this lineup? I don't even know. What I am I like? Is that a banana spam for I, the apartments? Feels like he's aiming too high. I, I need to take another look at that. That was... What am I... That would be absurd. I'm not ready for that right now. Oh, Nico goes down. Twist gets the entry. Oh, Twist again. Double kill up banana. And look at this. It's a runway into the B site. More than one map he's done that so far the world final. It's a CT side rating that's actually been the highest per phase. Okay. By quite a big margin. There's Rops on the T side with the amazing T side so far. And that map on Inferno where it was all about him. But Twist right now. It's been quite some time since that force buy in round two. Netted them three rounds. Oh, <laughs> Modesty. See you in the next half. Blown to smithereens, but there's still two CTs in this pocket. And Twist's not gonna let his guard down. Oh, oh. A deagle spam to screw Hooksy. What a half this yeah. Canadian talent is having. And it's gonna be Hunter and JKS with a desperate two versus four attempt. But at least Hunter's already ahead of that Molotov. So it's a nice one to finish off Twist. Player drops down beside him in Brokey. And now it's JKS with another clutch attempt in this series. Flash goes high, Brokey goes down. And the quad player's stuck. Banana Man's dead. But Rain's gonna finish this off. A stoic hold from the backside. An 11 round T half. Nico wants to see something. He's gonna get all the way in. Rops' position now known. He's got Brokey behind him towards Library, but the flood of T's hit the ground. Brokey will get smoked off. So despite his first kill, Rops isn't able to offer up anything to phase his favor. Four versus four in the post-plant pistol. Nico. Oh, that's kind of gross. Yeah, that was the moto boost getting shut <laughs> down. Plus, behind a moto smoke with the time ticking down as well. This is a tough moment. And actually, Phaser are just going to leave it. They're not even going to try to go for the three before retake. So this gives... It's Hunter and Hooksy tagged up somewhat, but 5-7 tries to sprint away. Remember, Robs, he's playing with one of those two guns. Hooksy tries to dive into the site. Jumping Mac 10 will work. Oh. Wonderful second kill here from Robs. And then he kind of keeps it tucked. He's under pressure as that SMG presses in, and Nico, well, the Galil looks wonderful on Arch side. A triple kill to keep FaZe at bay. Five rounds the difference. Ooh. Twists. Oh, Hooksy. Holds left click as long as he holds W. And just guns through that banana setup. Wastes no time. Throws caution to the wind. And then Rops is going to give him something to think about. Second kill from him and Brokey. Oh, no. Starting to rob this away. Plus, not to mention, that's the bomb planter. Yeah, the bomb. It's, it's right in the perfect position if you have T's there. But right now, oh God, CT's have all the best spots. After that double entry, things looked like they were going so well. Hunter will wrap around. Oh, oh dunked on. Wow. Nico from downtown. They recover. The it's Kovac. a Kovac clutch. Let's go. I mean... That was not easy to figure out. Can't just lodge the player in con. <laughs> Hooksy just and Hooksy's like, you gonna let these kills go to waste? <laughs> uh, wow, I thought he had a deagle because he just shot one bullet. <laughs> of course, Rob's 5-7 do be nasty. He's just spraying at every opportunity. <laughs> Let's see it. Gonna come around this corner. G2 should know about it. Ooh, big damage. Twists. He set up Rain to try and hold it. Gets back into quad. We've got a Molotov yeah, and a frag here from Hunter. So that'll definitely help. Not to mention little wall bang. And they flush him out straight into Hunter's crosshair. Wow, those are perfect protocols. The most amount of pressure possible. Rocks, two versus three, but they're not even gonna wow. take this chance. They're gonna call that quits. Twist does his damnedest. Hugely impactful on the round for FaZe. So G2, full credit for kind of setting that up. So there'd be maximum two players there. No op that they have to worry about. And speaking of ops they have to worry about, we do have Brokey successfully saving his gun, which is huge. Listen, Brokey's been having a good series, but there's about to be a world of pressure applied. Oh, he gets away with the fast smoke. 
Utility comes out first. Nico's at the front, oh. and it is an instant delete. Kerrigan, of course, only four health, and Rops tries to run out. The fact Hunter gets a team kill could maybe put Twist in a better position, but his entire team is dead, and G2 are now on the cusp of tying this game. Then Brokey sticks around, and Nico just hard clears it. One bullet to the head, getting revenge for himself after a really rough nuke. You know, a, a, an underplaying of Archside. So Brokey sticks around, catches Hooksy at least, but now it's up to G2 whether they not want to follow through. Robs is going to be smoked out. He's got a player inside of the bomb site. They're just awaiting this commitment, and it's coming. Brokey's got him the chance to with the double. Twists. It's just the one. Hunter and Monacy on the recovery. And they know that Rops is over here because of the utility used, not to mention fire over the top. Rops delivers the headshot. Hunter's gonna get gunned down, and FaZe have lifted the curse of an empty-handed CT side. Oh, Three damn. players up. We know that that initial setup had an emphasis towards the B site. Why not just try to transition into this A hit? Why not just go for Carnage? And instead, it's Twist with a couple kills. He's going to get himself into the site, loses his teammate towards Pit. And that next peak, well, it's a success story for G2. Wow. Listen, they won from man disadvantages back on Nuke. JKS with that key entry as well to set it up. Will they give him anything? But they still have the extra player. Oh, that could have been Oh, it. an extra moto smoke. That's fantastic. But the fact that the CTs put one ahead of it, it's going to create a question. Rain takes down JKS and Monacy doesn't oh, have the cover. Wow. So they make it quick. They press in. CTs know that's a bit of a risk to run through blind. Hunter, sensing that he's got a little bit of space, twists, making a lot of sound on that fallback. Looks he's committing, that's why we've got twists leaving. Oh, and, and it Hunter. worked! Oh, did it ever just work? Hooksy killed Kerrigan as well, so things are going excellently. Rain recovers, but they don't know about Rops. He drops bomb, and no second kill. JKS picks up that slack. Hunter with vision into the library. CT's coming oh. out to challenge, and the trade's there! G2! From B to A off the play of Hooksy, they get themselves in with another. That was a terrifying round. Yeah, he's tried this opener a number of times so far. Flash above, 0 for 2. Brokey, you need to deliver. Oh, and no now he's just nervous about even coming around that corner. We got a lot of bodies stacking up. Oh my God. And Hooksy's headshot. But now it's Robs' chance to shine. Oh, Nico! It's coverage. And it's killer instinct out of G2. Tied game again, 13 all. And this is no money in the bank account now for FaZe. Team to 13. The CTs cannot afford to go back and forth on rounds anymore. Look at this, everyone, full vision. There's no, pl no one needs to play anti because there's no flash coming out. I don't know if Rops didn't have one from the pit. FaZe hanging on for their life. Oh, the one gun. M4 spam comes out, Hooksy's in the corner. Oh, Nico through smoke. And then Kerrigan gets caught off. This one's for 14, folks. G2 haven't seen a lead in this match. This one goes down so smooth. Hooksy just patient in the corner. JKS wins a fight as Rops desperately attempts to get something going. G2 off the back of this round have a lead. Not a tied game, a lead. That happened so many times. But the, oh, oh, it's just, of course, of course, it's just one extra bullet. But it's those early grenades, too, they threw at rain to soften them up to that point. It's exactly what the doctor ordered. I wonder if Rops' inability to get aggressive is maybe because JKS is kind of his counterpart. Oh, Monacy hits the hop, looking for the timing. Barrel spotted, but it's Brokey drawn into the Hunter. Rops out of the corner, traded, and now they're going to no. try. Oh, no, no scope! Monacy! for G2's 15th. It's a stunning shot to take it away from Twist. When Rops isn't able to deliver, when Brokey is missing shots, when Kerrigan and Rain are dying empty-handed, they fall on Twist to go big, trying to be the Rops of the last series, and he gets no scoped. This a gut-wrenching gut shot. This kid has two sensitivity, and he makes it look like three. He uses full mouse pad to go for the 180 and hits a shot under porch without his scope. We need that queued up to the replay, and we need Rain to try and hold on to this M4, but they all get cleared. Oh G2 God. will have two attempts to get into this grand finals. I was looking through the match thread the yesterday, the G2 fans saying, don't give us hope. We don't want hope. Oh, now it might not be hope Watch you this. need anymore. Oh, Whoa. my God. 
Harness the power of the op. What the? F An incendiary to follow when the crunch time really comes, if it comes, and sure enough, it's about to. Hooksy wants to shroud Kerrigan in that smoke, and now it falls to Rain and his Fomus. Kerrigan comes out with the SMG, still alive and kicking. Everything's getting confusing. USP's in hand, bodies falling, and Brokey finally gets something going. But now he's pressed up. We've got eight seconds on that clock, and Bomb is going down, just like FaZe Clan. Monacy. AK up, Robson Twist, the two highest rated players at this event prior to this semi-final. And now they've got three players to drop. Monacy, so close. His teammates lean back because they're not even needed. G2 will end this year where they started it, a grand finals. But this is Hooksy's G2. And they have one BO3 left over. One last match to do the unthinkable. They may not have attended the major, but they just eliminated both of 2022's major champions.